Tim here. So after a lifetime of wimpy trucks, I finally bought something I'm proud of. A new Ram heavy duty truck with a 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel engine. So I set out, along with my best pal, James here on the video cam, to visit the folks in Columbus, Indiana, where they design, test, and build the Cummins turbo diesel. Hey, this truck changed my life. I'm your biggest fan. Do you know what I think is one of the best features on the Cummins turbo diesel? Yeah, well, I'll tell you. It's got an integrated exhaust brake and it comes standard with every truck. How sweet is that? You know how an exhaust brake works? Yeah, well, neither do I. But I know it's a way of slowing down the truck without using the regular brakes. In fact, I was online last night chatting with a guy from Tulsa and he pulls some heavy loads on some steep grades. He swears by it. Says he's worn the paint on his exhaust brake button but he hasn't worn out his brakes. So anyway, I know exactly where we can find out about the exhaust brake. It's right here. It's the Mid-Range Technical Center, but they call it Oli. I think that's just to make sure no one finds out about it. Anyway, it's where they do all the leading edge engine technical work, and I'm betting they can tell us about the exhaust brake. Hi. Hi. Can you tell me about the exhaust brake on the 6.7? No, I cannot. That would be Dave Connor. He's the design team leader for the 6.7. I can direct you where he sits. Oh, that would be great. Okay. Thanks. Um, you go down here, and you make a right, then go up the stairs, and when you get to the top of the stairs, make a left, go around, you go around in a square, come down the stairs, then when you come down the stairs, go back again to the left, and you should find Dave Connor. Okay. okay. Thanks. Okay. James, dude. All right, I think we're okay. rolling here. I'm sorry, my cameraman just ditched me and no I think he went to go get something to eat. So we're kind of on our own here for a few minutes. Um, what can you tell us about the exhaust brake? What do you want to know? Uh, everything. What it is and how it works. Okay. Well, basically, an exhaust brake works on the principle that when the piston is trying to push the exhaust up out of the cylinder, it has to get out of the engine. Mm -hmm. So we close off that path and it makes it harder for the piston to, to push out the exhaust. And then through the transmission to the wheels, it slows your whole truck down. On the 5.9 engine, we would, to get an exhaust brake, you'd have to buy this aftermarket type system it would add an exhaust butterfly to the back of the turbocharger, a vacuum pump, and a vacuum actuator. And those aftermarket systems could cost $1,000. When we went to the 6.7 liter engine, we integrated that all into the turbocharger. Oh, look who's back. Get over here and get the turbocharger, huh? So we added a VG turbocharger to the engine to help with several things. One is to give us better throttle response at low speeds and to help flow exhaust for our emission systems. And how this VG works is there's a sliding nozzle that closes off the path to the, the turbine blades. So as the exhaust's trying to get out of the engine, we, we can narrow this gap up and it's kind of like putting your thumb over a garden hose. Close off the flow and it sprays harder. Okay. So when we take this exhaust and close it off, when we want to go into an exhaust brake mode, we close it completely down. So that path is now closed to, to nothing. So it's just like the previous system where it closes off the exhaust, then we have uh, caused the piston to have to work very hard to get the exhaust out of the engine. It slows the whole truck down. Okay. But now it's all integrated into the engine. And so when I push the button, my truck knows what to do. I don't have to do yeah. anything else. It, it's not only the hardware is integrated in, we have integrated the control system, the computer on the engine with the, the com computer controlled transmission. 
So it all works together as a system to slow your truck down. David also told us a story about how Clessy Cummins, that's who the company's named after, invented the engine brake, which is what they use on big rigs and is kind of the grandfather of the exhaust brake. Anyway, it was back in 1928 and Clessy was coming down a 30 mile long downhill grade outside of Barstow, California, when his brakes gave out. Bad deal, huh? And to make it worse, there was a train coming up ahead. He lucked out and got out before the train hit him. But his brush with death inspired Clessy to develop the engine brake. And now that same idea is used on my exhaust brake. Now, I've used the exhaust brake before, but I've never used it while pulling a trailer. Oh, I think that's would, something we could do. You would really enjoy it. And, and that's where the beauty of the system is, is when you've got a big trailer and you're needing to slow it down, uh, it saves wear and tear on your exhaust brake, or on your, your trailer brakes and your truck brakes and it just makes you feel more confident going down a big hill with a big trailer. And we, we've got a test truck, we can go try it out. Yeah? Yeah. Let's go do that. Yeah. All right. So if you are done eating, you wanna kind of follow us along this time? Okay, Tim, we're gonna go look for a hill here in Indiana that might help demonstrate how the brake works. But I'll tell you a story about a trip we were on out west with a Chrysler engineer we, we went up the Pikes Peak, Pikes Peak Hill and we took a truck without a trailer it was fully loaded with weights in the back and on that Pikes Peak run when you're coming down you can really get a lot of speed up on those hills and they have a ranger station part way down where they check the brake temperatures with a infrared temperature gun uh -huh. And if it's above 300 degrees, they'll make you stop and wait for an hour to let the, the brakes cool down. Okay, that makes sense. So we came down that, that first part of the hill without using the service brakes at all, just using the, the integrated exhaust brake on the truck. And when the Ranger took the temperatures of our pickup, he had to look twice at the gun because it was just air temperature. <laughs> we hadn't even used the brakes at all. So he'd never experienced another truck. No, using he, something he like thought that. there was something wrong with his gun. <laughs> nice. So it just showed how effective the brake was and how comfortable you can feel on a steep grade where other vehicles might have a real concern about the temperatures their brakes are getting to. Right. So it's not only saving you money, it also makes you safer. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Tim, this is about as steep a grade as we can find in this area. Okay. We'll show you how effective the exhaust brake is. We'll start in at about 15 mile an hour on this hill. Oh, that's pretty steep. So you can hear the exhaust brake coming in now. Yeah. Twenty thousand pounds going down the hill, and it's keeping us about thirty miles an hour, just a little above. Yeah, it's very impressive. That was nice. Okay, there's a steeper grade down here below. Okay, we'll see if we can get down without touching the brakes at all. Definitely working, definitely working, because he'd be standing on the brakes right now. Wow. That whole grade was done without any wear and tear on the regular brakes. And we kept it to about 30 mile an hour, which is the speed limit here. Right. All in all, that was a pretty good day, wouldn't you say? I mean, we found out about the integrated exhaust brake on the Cummins turbo diesel. You know, I've always wanted to go to Pikes Peak. How about you? Come on, it'd be fun. I know a guy. We can rent a trailer. Hook up a trailer.